Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jules. Today we're going to be creating a fun eye look. You see what I created here. And we're gonna be using some new liquid shadows that I've never heard about. I happened to stumble upon these while I was in Ulta. And so I'm gonna be trying them out for you, giving you all the details and giving you my first impressions at the very end of the video. So if you're interested and you wanna hear more, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, I am ready to create an eye look. Today I'm going to be using these paints from About Face Beauty. I'd never heard of this brand before. I was in Ulta a few weeks ago, kind of looking for, you know, something new to feature here. And I came across this little section of makeup that was really close to the live tinted area. And so I picked up three different paints. These are matte fluid eye paints. They are liquid eyeshadows basically. And here is one of them. So they come in different packages, I'm not sure why. But uh, this one, as you can see, is a really pretty turquoise shade. And then the other two come in this kind of packaging. Okay, so I have this pretty, it's like a violet blue shade. And then let me see which one this is. I don't remember what shades I picked up. Oh, here is a pretty brown shade. Looks kind of rust to me when I look at it in this packaging. And then here is the turquoise one out of its packaging. Aren't these colors so fun? So gorgeous. So let me tell you a little bit about these products. These are vegan, cruelty-free, and they are clean ingredient products. The About Face Matte Fluid Eye Paint is a powerful one-swipe punch of liquid eye color that delivers bold, buildable pigments. These are said to be no budge, no smudge finish. It's supposed to be smooth. And then how to use, it says to Prep eyelids with Shadow Fix eyeshadow primer. I did see those there, but I, I don't, I don't, I'm not in the market for a new primer, so I wanted to just use what I knew. And then it says to apply the eye paints to your eyelids with fingers or your favorite tool for as much or as little as you're into. The canvas is yours. Want a little sparkle using your fingers or a brush? Apply your favorite shade of fractal glitter dust or fractal glitter jelly on top of the matte fluid eye paint. I think those are within this line of products. All I saw at Ulta were these matte shadows and then the primer. That is all that I saw there. But apparently when I go to the website, they've got lip glosses, I think eyebrow products, a few more products in the line, but they didn't have any of that at Ulta. Oh, it does say if you're gonna wear these as an eyeliner to gently tap, not to sweep, the formula using a stamping motion on the lash line using an angled eyeliner brush. Let's swatch these first so I can get an idea of the consistency of these. Okay, this navy kind of violet shade is called Lost Unfound. So here is the doe foot on it. And let me swatch this for you right here. It's such a gorgeous dark dark blue almost looks black and i kind of want to just swatch some right here on my hand and kind of work with it a little bit just to see what the consistency is on this just tapping this around looks like it moves pretty easily and it looks pretty smooth and look at this it stained my finger stained my my hand as well. Hopefully that comes off with a good, um, like an oil. So this one is called Replicant. I love the packaging on this. It's like a, a velvet feeling. And then here's this one. Oh, that is gorgeous. Look at that. Very opaque. Looks very rich and vibrant. Okay, this one is called Cloned. It's very pretty. Okay, I think I have an idea of what I want to do. I have already primed my lids with my uh, Hydro Grip eyeshadow primer from Milk. I'm going to start with this shade right here, Cloned, and I'm going to build the crease a little bit. 
give myself a little bit of definition first. So I'm going to add this right to that area. And I'm just going to tap this in this outer area. That is beautiful and so effortless. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the same to the other side. I see where I actually went down a little bit too far here. And that wiped away really easily. And then what I'm thinking is taking this turquoise shade. It's so gorgeous. And I'm probably just going to tap some right here in the intersection. And then I'll work this into the inner parts of the lid. And then I'll use a clean finger to blend that into the brown. How pretty is that? And effortless. the dot on top of this side. I felt like it wasn't as pigmented as the other side and it builds beautifully on top of what's already there. Okay next what I'm going to do is take this gorgeous blue and try to do a wing. So I have this brush from Morphe. It is an M217 and I'm just going to pick up some of this on the tip of my brush and that says to tap not sweep on this liner. Ugh. I just messed up royally. Let me see if I can fix that. Okay, I'm going to pick up some more and let me see if I can make this a little bit thicker to hide my mistake. Okay, just going to pick up a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to pick up some of this shade on the back of my hand. And I'm going to see if I can smudge that out a little bit with my finger and then maybe I can do a little bit of correcting. Okay, I think that is as close as I'm going to get. Um, there is a little smudge there, but I feel like my mascara will cover that up. And let me finish this off by picking up some more to do the other side. Such a pretty blue.
Okay, that is gonna do it for the eye look. Let me go finish off the rest of my makeup and then I will be back to tell you what my thoughts are. Okay, we're back with the completed look. I did wanna show you how it looked completed with just the eye paints, but I also, I think I wanna go in with a touch of something from this palette for a little bit of sparkle there in the inner corner, but I did wanna show you how it looked without any sparkle, which I think it is beautiful but this is kind of bothering me right here where I messed up and so I think if I go in with a little bit of sparkle then it may hide that. So I was swatching through both of my Danessa Myricks palettes. This is the Lightwork 3 palette and I was looking at the shade Martian right here. I think that will go so well with that matte shade that I have in the inner corner. See, it has this pretty turquoise color. It has a little bit of a shift to it, but it is mostly turquoise. It is a beautiful shade. So I haven't picked up a whole lot. I just tapped into it a little bit there. And then I'm just going to touch. And I think that that may even be a little bit too much. So I'm gonna take a little bit to this side. touch over that one area that's bothering me. Taking it into the inner corner and just slightly raising it a little bit. And just gonna take a clean finger and blend that out into the rest of the lid. And then I'm going to finish on this side. Don't want to take away from the shadow. I just want to add a little something to it. Perfect. That added the little something I needed. It's hiding that little mistake a little bit more, so it's a little harder to see now. So I am satisfied with the look. Let's zoom you out and talk about these pigments. Okay, here we are with the completed look. Let me tell you what my thoughts are on these pigments. So for the most part, love them. I think these are such a quick, easy option for a little bit of color on your lids. They have all sorts of colors in the line for these matte paints. The only gripe that I have is because you cannot sweep this, and I didn't try to sweep it, the liner, I followed the directions in tapping it, but I do want to pick up a little bit and let me just try it on my hand to see what it does in a straight line. I feel like that did good. I don't know why it says not to sweep it. So because I was using that touching motion or tapping, it doesn't look as smooth as I would like for it to do or to be. Um, I was looking in my magnifying mirror, probably something I don't need to do, but you see all the little flaws. And so looking up close, I could see where it was not um, a sharp line, but if you're looking far away like this, you can't tell. So that is my only gripe. And next time I may try just sweeping like I normally do because that looks good. I don't see where it's skipping or anything like that. So next time I will try it that way. I was just following the directions as to how to apply it as a liner. So overall, I think these are such great shadows. I forgot to tell you the price of these. These are $16 per tube, and this is on the higher end side of Ulta, so you couldn't use a 350 off of 15, but you can definitely, if you're saving up your points at Ulta, you can definitely use the dollar value of those points to bring down the price of these a tad bit. I think that these did beautifully on top of my Hydro Grip Primer from Milk, and yeah great fun product and you know if you wanted to create a more neutral look 
You could definitely take a shade like this one and sweep it across the lid really quickly and leave it as is, or you could add a little bit of a metallic or a uh, glitter on top of that, just in the inner corner. And so, you know, quick two-step look for a quick eye look. So I love these in that they are so quick and easy to use. And I don't see where, if you guys watched my e.l.f. No Budge Shadow review, I wanted to love those. These, I feel like, have the premise of those e.l.f. ones, but they don't crease and they're not hard to work with like those e.l.f. ones were. So everything that I wanted those e.l.f. No Budge Shadows to be, these are. So really excited about these and really excited about the look I was able to create. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you have any questions for me, leave those for me in the comment section as well, and I'll get back to you as soon as I'm able to. If you enjoy videos like these, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out. And as always, I love you guys. Be blessed, and I will see you in the very next one. Bye.